All right, we are going to be going over line 96. This is the concert F major scale. For some of you, if you play clarinet or trumpet, yours is going to say the G major scale skill. That's because you are starting out, your starting and ending notes for the scale is a G for you. If you're a saxophone player, you're going to notice that this is the D major scale skill. That's because your starting and ending pitch is D. Then, on top of that, if you're looking at a saxophone part, you're going to notice that you have an F sharp in the key signature and a look ma no hands C sharp in the key signature. If you are a trombone or flute player or euphonium player or mallet player, you're going to notice you only have one flat in the key signature, and that's going to be on the B line. So we're going to take a moment and we're just going to go through this scale one note at a time. Ready? And... Right. If you're a trumpet or euphonium or trombone player, you might think, huh, mine doesn't sound quite like that. Mine doesn't go all the way up and go all the way down. You have a leap in yours in measure two. If you're a trumpet player, you're leaping from C to D. And if you're a trombone player or euphonium player, you're leaping from the high B flat to your C. So we're going to do that one more time, and I'm going to play an instrument that leaps. Ready? One note at a time. <laughs> struggling with some of the leaps, I would encourage you to take a breath in between the notes, especially the leap from low to high. You might struggle a little bit more with that one in measure four. That's okay. Go ahead, take a breath there, and then try to go for the higher note. Remember, the higher notes require more air pressure. You got to squeeze your core and push the air out a little bit faster. So I think we're ready to add this with, you know, a metronome. I'll be playing clarinet this time. We have our metronome on. Go ahead and start tapping your foot. One, two, concert F, and... going to do that again, but I'm going to do it with an instrument that leaps. One, two, and ready. Too bad. Now we're going to go to our, the arpeggio. Some of us, just like in line 88, will arpeggio, will do the arpeggio where it goes all the way up and all the way down. And some of us have a little bit of a leapier part. That's okay. So I'm going to start off with going through the arpeggio in, on the clarinet. So we're just going to go one note at a time, these three measures in that second part of the line. Ready? One note at a time. <laughs> Not too shabby. Now we're going to do it on an instrument that leaps a little bit. All right, on an instrument that leaps. Okay, and once again, if you're a trumpet player and you're struggling to go from the D to the C in that second measure, or if on trombone, if you're struggling to go from the C to the B flat, that's okay. Take a little bit of a breath right before you play the higher note and push out the air, make it happen. Play a little bit louder. Those things are what's gonna help you play the higher notes. Now we're gonna add that with the metronome. 
one. And we're gonna take it just a little bit slower for our leaping brass friends. One, two, ready, and... And just for one last time, we're going to go all the way from the scale through the arpeggio without stopping. We're going to keep our metronome nice and slow for that leaping part. One, two, ready, and... That is line 96, the concert F major scale.